I have a task for you to do today. Okay, great. Until recently, okay. Steve Lakin headed up a company called CFOS. It made most of its money from doing DNA forensics. But it was also in the commercial lie detection business. I've come to see if he can catch me in a lie. What I'm going to ask you to do is, inside this drawer, there's a ring and there's a watch. You can take one of those two objects, and you're going to pretend as if you didn't take either of the two objects, that both of the objects are still in the drawer. So at any time today, if I ask you, did you take a ring or did you take a watch, your response to both of those questions would be? No, correct. I didn't take, right. didn't and take I will, anything. I'll and say I no to everything. Great. Yeah. And I will not know what object you took. I'll be leaving the room when you take one of those objects. The ring or the watch? Uh, I'm really tempted to take them both. Is the ring in your locker? No. Did you take the ring? No. Did you steal the ring? No. Was the ring stolen? No. Did you hide the ring? No. Did you steal Next it? came no. a practice the session when I honed my skill at denying everything, no. which of course meant that half the time I'm lying. Did you put the ring in your locker? No. Did you leave the ring in the drawer? Yes. Did the ring stay in the drawer? Yes. Was the ring moved from the drawer? Not by me. Did you hide the watch in your locker? No. Did you remove a watch from the drawer? No. Did you steal a watch from the drawer? <laughs> You gotta get a rubber hose, you know? <laughs> Make this go much faster. This right here is the keypad. Now it's time for the brain scan. The keypad will allow me to answer yes or no as the questions are projected onto a screen above my face. While I'm in the scanner, you get the pleasure of seeing my brain revealed. This is a structural scan. But once the questions start coming, the machine will be making repeated scans to see how different parts of my brain are responding as I answer. This type of brain scan is called a functional MRI, and it's the key technology we'll be encountering as we explore how neuroscientists are probing brains. The scanner creates images of multiple slices through the brain, picking out regions where a cluster of nerve cells, among the several billion in the brain, is working especially hard Harder working cells need more blood to fuel them. This extra blood flowing through the nest of capillaries surrounding the nerve cells generates a magnetic signal. And it's this signal, an indirect measure of nerve cell activity, that the fMRI machine detects and displays. It took Steve Lakin about an hour using his patented computer algorithms to figure out where the blood was flowing most in my brain while I was answering those seemingly endless questions about rings and watches. So I hear you have a result. I do. I do have a result. Are you interested in seeing how you did? Yeah. Or maybe I should say how I did? <laughs> yeah, right. The red indicates areas of the brain that was more active when you were answering, in this case, ring questions on the bottom here. Mm -hmm. And on the top here, this is your brain answering more. This is when you have more activation answering watch questions. Figuring out from these brain slices what's going on where is tough for the uninitiated. So throughout this show, we'll be using our own transparent brain to see where the scans reveal increased activity. Steve Lakin focuses on three areas that he argues have to work harder when someone is telling a lie. In my case, these regions showed more activity when I was answering the ring questions than the watch questions. So, what do you think I took out of the drawer? The computer made the determination that you took the ring. Uh-huh. You want to find out if I did? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I, you look a little relieved. Am I always relieved? Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we, we do impact people's lives with what we do. Much yeah. more, you know, much more important than rings and watches. And, you know, this, when we get these things right, when we do this, it does lead credibility to what we're doing when it really does make a difference. Yeah, I go back this way. Of course, Steve Lakin had a 50-50 chance of catching my lie, even if his method doesn't really work. Though he claims an accuracy of some 90% in experiments with volunteer subjects like me. The key question is how my little fib about the ring compares to real-world lies. 